This is week nine in the fall trimester of my Atelier Diary. And if you can hear it in my voice, I caught a cold this week. This is the final two weeks that we have to work on our figure painting, so I'm really pushing to resolve it. So on Monday, I worked on the fulco areas, the light areas, like the face, the shoulders, and the extended arm and hand. And I feel like the head in my figure painting was really the farthest behind of everything else, so putting a lot of extra time on the head really made me feel like the painting was like finally getting pushed into the, re into the resolving stage and moving out of the block-in stage. And then Tuesday I pretty much did the same thing where I was working in all the focal areas. I spent a lot more time on the portrait again on Tuesday. I brought the values of the face up and then just like kept correcting proportions and everything. I also worked a lot on the hand that's on the extended arm, working on the intensity of the colors, making sure it's more red, and also working on the contrast of values, so making sure that there was enough contrast between the lights and the shadows. Pretty much this whole week I spent um, working in those focal light areas. I feel like a lot of time um, previously was on the shadows and the dark half tones. I'm pretty satisfied with those. I think the values are pretty accurate and the colors um, and the drawing of it. So now I'm bringing a lot of my attention into the, the, the lights and the focal areas now. Also on Tuesday, I was working a lot in the background and making sure that Delon looks like he is in a space because I think before this this day. Um, Delon was looking more like kind of like a cutout of a figure on a bluish background and not like there was really air in front of him and around him and like he wasn't really in the atmosphere of the space. So what I was doing to correct that to really get him to look like he's occupying this space is I was finding his skin tones and subtly putting them around the background and I was doing this kind of in a lighter scumbly way, um, really making sure like the, the bright areas like his shoulders were having light spill out into the background looking like his body is affecting the space that he's in. So I was taking those lighter um, kind of yellowy greenish tones that I was finding in the shoulders and like pushing them out into the background and also finding some violets that are more down by the legs in the background area and really kind of lightly blending them out and then also not just finding the skin tones of Delon putting them subtly in the background but also vice versa of that is finding the background that bluish color and then finding where that really falls on Delon and since the background is pretty cool um, I've been finding consistently in my paintings that when I'm working with color I do a pretty good job of finding the warm tones but I'm kind of slower with picking up the cool tones so since the background is cool and finding those cool tones on Delon I think that really helped um, get more natural skin tones in him so he has the warm tones and also those cool tones and so as I'm finding the balance between um, Delon's skin tones and the cool tones finding them in the background finding them on Delon I'm also seeing where I can completely lose edges of Delon's body where it completely blends out atmospherically into the shadow. So that happens a lot on in his legs where the, especially the light areas of the caps, where the those lighter tones are almost the same value as the background. So getting them close enough where it looks like they just kind of like meld out into the background. And then also um, I'm finding also in his hips and uh, in his hair where everything just kind of like, you can't really see a clear definite hard line and so I think finding those really lost edges really helped to get the sense of atmosphere and also um, a better sense of naturalism. On Wednesday un unfortunately I had too bad of a migraine so I couldn't go in um, to work on the painting session in the morning which I really don't like missing the figure sessions because you, you can't make those those up but oh well. On Thursday then I did more work on Jalan's portrait really Correcting shapes and working on the values. I feel like faces and heads are so complicated because, um, well, one, you just really got to nail it because it's human nature to look at someone's face. So um, it's mostly going to be the, the focal point unless maybe it's completely in shadow. But it's not in this case for Delon. So I really wanted to nail it. And... Um, the forms of the face, like the cheekbones and the forehead and lips, no, you know, all the features and everything, there, there's so many little forms where it's like changing gradually the light um, 
So you really have to nail those transitions to make it look convincing. A problem that I have is not making the face look flat because there's a lot of movement with like the cheekbones, forehead, temple and everything, but then also not over modeling areas and making it kind of too contrasty, which I think in my painting it was getting too contrasty because it almost looked like Delon's face, like he was wearing makeup, like how some people they contour their faces where they make their cheekbones really bright and then they contour like shadows under their cheekbones. And it was getting this kind of like shiny, unnatural appearance. And so when Matt came by to, to critique his face, he said that he really liked how I had um, the, the forehead and how the light spills into the eye socket and he said that was looking really naturalistic and I probably didn't need to touch that anymore. And I asked him why because I did like that part in my painting but not so much the cheekbones um, and the nose and how it moved down the face and he said it's because it looked like I captured the effect of light and I was more working on the impression of the effect of light and not thinking about all these little features that make up the face. So when I went to work on um, the rest of the face I was really looking in my black mirror um, also turning my head sideways so you kind of are more looking how the light is falling across the face um, when you do that and it's just kind of like you know turns your perception a little bit so it kind of freshens your eye but anyway so yeah I was seeing how the light was falling across the face and more thinking about just like light hitting an object rather than light hitting the cheekbone and how there's like more of a shadow under it and not like complicating and overthinking it in my head and just painting what I was seeing and trying to um, abstract it and I think that really helped and I think I got a lot of improvement with it making it kind of go away from that unnatural contouring of the face into more of a natural how like light falls across a face. The rest of the day on Thursday I was really finding cool tones in his upper sh or his shoulders and also I was working down the the extended arm and there's a pretty strong highlight that goes down his extended arm and seeing how the colors in that highlight were kind of changing from this bluish green to more of a violet and trying to find all those transitions. And Friday I worked more on the portrait and now I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with the structure and also the values and colors in it. Halfway through this painting session though a thunderstorm hit so it got really dark, really really dark so I couldn't really work on the figure anymore because you couldn't really see the figure but I knew I wanted to work on the background in some areas like on the left side of Delon, it's kind of more airy and lighter so I was finding lighter colors that I could put in there and then also um, on the left side it gets darker so I was doing that and pretty much by the end of the time when I've got that all filled in it had the storm clouds have left so Delon brightened up again so I could really see what was going on on the figure so I could paint off of that. So I was working in the, the lower back and the gluteus and really making sure that the lights blended as gradually as they did as the light falls across the figure, um, making sure there was enough transitions from the lights into the darks. And I, I needed to correct some transitions in the, the lower leg of the standing leg, so I did that um, pretty quickly and then also there was five minutes left of the painting session and um, I'm really not happy with the feet yet, so I picked one foot, which was the standing foot, since I was already working on the standing leg, and I painted the standing foot in probably like five minutes, and it was so fun and exhilarating, because I knew this was the last time he was going to be up there for the, the rest of the, the week, so I was just throwing paint down as fast as I could, like really brushy, and just really reacting to it, and not overthinking, because I didn't have time to and I really like how it turned out. It was really fun and exciting doing that. And I, yeah, I really like how it how it turned out. So that was a really fun, that was a really fun thing to do. Also what I wanna say is on Friday, I've been experimenting that last day with putting more medium in my paints. I usually just pretty much just use straight oil paint. I don't like to mix a ton of medium in my paint, but since I'm kind of resolving and I, Wanna, it's like I have the tones figured out, but I want to fix um, how the paint is laid on it. Using more medium, I guess I don't know how to describe it since I was just playing around with it this, this last day, but having the paint be more fluid with the medium, um, I was really liking that because I was more, since I had like the structure and the value and the color more figured out now, and I'm in the, like, the resolving stage, um, 
I felt more confident with putting brush strokes down and leaving them. And I think I, I don't know, just having it more fluid with the more medium just made it easier to do that. I don't think I would want to do that so much starting a painting out. I probably would like to use less medium, but um, I don't know. Um, I have one more week now to work on this, so I think I'm going to practice areas where I'm using more medium to get those brushy, fluid look. And lastly, my cast drawing. I'm still trying to finish it up. I feel like every week I keep saying that, like, I'm going to finish it up, and it's still, it's still not finished. This cast is just it's so big and there's so many areas to work on it and I feel like I'm really happy with the structure of everything, really happy now with the, the values. I'm pushing the white chalk more in certain areas to try and make the light areas of the relief um, really pop out like they are. I'm also finding it, it's a little trippy because um, I don't know who the sculptor was but who the sculptor or what the sculptor did is to make these figures look uh, really 3D and they are 3D but it's a relief so he's using some tricks of illusion and I'm um, really trying to make it look like it is a relief and not like these things are completely 3D from each other so uh, really working with edges to make it look like a relief not a completely like three-dimensional where these things are completely in space but they are like sandwiched up against um, the back of the the back of the relief now, this last week and this week, I think why it's taking so long is because since it is such a big cast and I want to work it all as much, the whole thing at the same time. So by doing that, um, I've had to make things more generalized and now I'm working on making things less generalized and more specific. So I'm kind of going through the whole cast and making sure that like the baby hands. They don't just look like baby hands, but I want them to look like those specific hands where they, where the plaster has broken off and where it's damaged, it looks like that. And they just look like specific identities of these figures and not just generalized forms that look like babies, but these really specific ones. And I think that's really important and really fun, really fun to do. And it, it does take a while and a lot of, um, concentration and like being careful with your mark making but instead of it looking just like just like you're painting for babies but more like almost like you're putting a soul in each one or identity or making sure that you're just making individual people and not just representations of them but kind of the essence of what they are and that takes a that takes a bit of time so this drawing is definitely taking a lot more time than I thought it would and I definitely I definitely could finish it up or have it finished I could have had it finished last week I think and it could have looked finished with it being more these generalized figures but I think I really do want to spend the time on making each little form as specific as I can because one it's just really fun to do that and I think that makes just a more interesting and a more intense and emotional drawing and so who knows when it's going to be done um, I'm going to try and finish it up this week <laughs> who knows if it will be finished or not and so we have five more days of school left but um, our Thanksgiving break is Thursday and Friday so we're, we, we're not in school that day so we make up the days Monday and Tuesday and so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to put out my next video finishing up the trimester um, and, until we've actually finished up so it'll be a few days later than I normally put it out.